it's all come down to this. Two teams fighting for their playoff lives. Win or go home. It's six and five, Alley Cats visiting the seven and four. Madison Radicals coming off of two straight home wins here at Breeze Stevens Field. One of the most historic rivalry matchups in the entire UFA. Hello everyone and welcome to the Isthmus of Madison, Wisconsin. I am Adam Ruffner and I am joined by Radicals legend, Colin Camp. Colin, we've got an absolute barn burner here tonight in the capital city of Ultimate. Two teams who either need to win or pack up all their hopes here in the 2024 season. And not only that, Adam, these are two teams that have been familiar with each other throughout the lives of their, their franchises and have... Now the Alley Cats D-line gets a chance at a break on the opening point of the game. Xavier Payne initiating. He's been a big contributor on the offense, tied for the team lead in assists. But here's starting out on defense. Payne, a big part of Indy being a league leader in defensive efficiency just two seasons ago. He loves using that flick in the half field set. And here he's arcing a big forehand flick into space for an even bigger target in William Wettendale. And Indy takes a 1-0 lead with a break. Weekend. Ooh, and a tough grab there from Kanaki. He's been clutch all season long. Saw him running wind sprints in warm-up, looking real spry here tonight. As this O prime unit takes over on just the second possession of the game, second offensive point for Madison, looking for their first score here. Testing out Robert into space. That disc hangs a little bit, but just perfectly between the two closing in defenders. Madison gets on the board. As we mentioned on our broadcast last week, Madison loves to tilt the field. And there McCarthy trying for a little too much around Carpenter. He doesn't object at all after that throw, and it looked like he got a bunch of contact. Trying out Gudeman into space. He gives it all up for the goal and the 2-1 Indy lead. Fantastic play there from Seth Gudeman on the Alley Cats. And that's a huge hold from the Alley this is not the type of ultimate we're used to seeing out of really either of these squads right now. And, and so obviously this is a critical moment. This is the end of the quarter situation we discussed for Madison, 20 seconds remaining with the disc. And we see a key turnover there off another great foot block by Indianapolis. Xavier Payne getting the foot on the Kai Marcus throw attempt there. And Nick Cotton carving out one of his big hammers to the far corner, looking for Davenport. Ref says he's in. What a throw there from Hutton. 40 yards across field, perfect airmail to Davenport. And Andy knots it back up at threes. And a critical, critical mistake there for Madison. These are the We got a good game here, and that's what we expected for four quarters tonight. Oh, and a big step through block there from Kanaki. Connie Harris pleading to the refs for a foul. I think that was just tangled up feet. As the veteran gets an early block here in the second quarter to get Madison's defense ignited. McCarthy on the doorstep. Radicals already within the red zone. McCarthy's been the best at punching in breaks here for the Radicals. And Robert has been the best at converting them into goals. It's Madison retakes the lead, four to three, Thunder 11 to go in the second quarter. Yeah, now that puts Madison. And Adam, to your point, so far the Radicals are forcing a lot of sideline hucks, which are really difficult to complete because you're really kind of throwing in a quarter of the field. Speaking of, lead forth up to Marks. He celebrates quickly and the Radicals crowd gets into it. Biggest lead of the night here for the home team. 6-3 Radicals have an ability to finish. So don't count them out just down three here. And yet Kelson Alexander swats that one away. Looks to engage KPS immediately in transition. One throw break score. Four straight for the Radicals. And they're up 7-3 here. All the momentum for the home team. And talking to Coach Spiro, the defensive coach, coach before this game, this is the exact situation that he talked about that Madison wanted. To your point about Indy's offense, Alley Cats 0 of 3 on huck attempts here tonight, not able to stretch the field. And it's really allowed, I feel like, Madison's coverages to settle in 
start poaching those lane attempts as we see Hart airing out a hook here to the big man sample. Easy connection there for the Radicals hold as they push to 10 here with just over a minute to play. Clock will stop and now restart on the whistle reset. Indy still moving in the wrong direction. So much for that two for one opportunity here as we tick under 10 seconds to go. False countdown from the home crowd. Hawkins carving it out into space, looking for Brock way up into the air. Hebold grabs the disc and gets both feet down over Gutowski. That is a big score with the legend fired up for his team. What a play by Cameron Brock. This indie team can claw out from a deficit on the road, but Luo testing Sample in space. Wettengale oh. getting the read, but Sample just too big to fail. Again, the indie defender had the inside track there, but Sample going up and demonstrating why he's the largest human. Breaking for the visiting Alley Cats. McCarthy on the near sideline looking for Weber, but big layout save interception there from Landry prevents the break score. Tonight, they've been very familiar with the Cardiac Cats, not only in 2024, but for a majority of this franchise's existence in there. Once again, Carrico stepping in front of a pass. Weber to Luo, under 10 seconds. Looking for anything, Alley Cats, Lethargic settling in the double team. Weber opting for the hammer over the top to who else but Robert, Mr. Break, goal scorer himself. He etches out his position as the team's second leading goal scorer this entire season. Break horns going off and the clock is up. Trying to get any kind of goal scoring and an absolute hunting block from Luke Marks underneath. He went completely horizontal for that one. Looking for the bookends, he'll be rewarded. And it's absolute celebration here in the Capital City Ultimate. And for other teams watching this game right now, you've got to think they're like, what is this Madison team we're watching? And I'll tell you, having guys like KPS and Kai D. Lorenzo come back, Sunday, July 28th here at Bree Stevens Field. Now you and I have been much anticipating that matchup as Payne looking to end the paint here for Indy. It's Radicals with absolutely zero pressure to do much of anything but a gorgeous IO flick into space to a wide open Vordick from Shrywise. Again, Shrywise looking in rhythm at all times and a fast break score from Marcus. And as Indy takes over one of their last offensive possessions here of the night and of the season, it's important to note again, Xavier Payne looking for Gudeman in space. Gorgeous throw there from Payne. 60 yards out hitting Gudeman on a bead. But as I was saying a moment ago, Lot failing to really get anything going here in the Capital City Ultimate as Wilson unleashes a throw deep to a streaking Kanaki. He shows no ability to have any kind of depletion in his energy. Opportunities to get Ds out there. And so to see a lot of these young guys stepping into those roles like Gutowski, as we see a huck here going up to Gross. Carpenter to Gross for possibly the final time in those two careers, connecting on one last deep shot. Carpenter unleashing the backhand, getting a big hug from his teammate. At times they've been, you know, snake bitten by bad luck and injuries, but they've overcome that this year and, and found a way back into the playoffs. And this league is as wide open as it's ever been. Well, for the first time since they won a title in 2018, the Madison Radicals will be returning to a postseason with a 25 to 16 win here at home over the visiting Indianapolis Alley Cats. Radicals improved to eight and four and they will host the Chicago Union in the first round of the Central Division playoffs here at this venue on Sunday, July 28th.